Today we ask ourselves, what is inside of unclaimed, undeliverable, unopened USPS mail packages? We have a total of possibly between 14 to 16 unopened packages here. Yep. It could be all the way from posted was due and the person didn't pay it. It could be they got lost in the mail. It could be all kinds of factors. It could have been stopped by customs. It could have been just the number doesn't exist. That happens too. Yep. So we have all kinds of reasons. So this was 80 bucks a box, uh, 10 bucks a package, seven to eight unopened per package. Unclaimed, yep. undeliverable, unopened USPS mail. You've seen this on this channel now for a couple months and these videos are super fun to do. These are actually the most watched videos on this YouTube channel now. I know you guys love these. We love doing them. They're a lot of fun. Of course, it's all a gamble. We have no idea if it's going to be junk mail, if it's going to be a whole bunch of Timu stuff, counterfeit stuff. We don't know. We don't know. No idea. We're going to pull our stuff out, darling, and we'll get going. What in the world? No <laughs> oh, no, I see I yellow. Think, do I have a record? Oh, you do have a record. Is this? I thought this was like a Burger King bag. Kind of look like, kind of like a food bag. Oh my bag. god, it does. But it's, what is it? I thought it was like, <laughs> like food in here. It does look like a sub. It straight up looked, looked like I was pulling out like a freaking cheeseburger. <laughs> oh my like, honey, whoever packed this box, I think they actually put some lunch in it. I'm intrigued by this. Are you? What do you want to do first? I don't know. Mm, I like that one. I know, I like that one. Do too. it, baby. This one? Yep. Okay. I actually didn't count my packages. Oh, I didn't count mm. mine either. It's seven to eight per box. Oh, let what me see if I can get this? any data oh, yeah. from you. I forgot. This was going Ooh. to New York, New York. This has a postage due of eleven dollars and sixty-five cents. They did not pay their postage due, so I got sent back and the bark or the address has been burnt off. I can't tell where it went to. Well, this was going to Harry in Harry. New York. New York. Harry, you got your package. Okay. <laughs> I think they're flip flops. No? Yeah. Oh, what is it is Kuya Oxine Inzi. I have no idea how to even begin saying that word. They're super cute. They got straps. Super cute. They're super cute. You know, some people hate when I say that super cute. When you read the comments, stop saying super cute. It's just, <laughs> it's just my way of, you know, whenever like the wife says, oh, these are so cute, then I always say super cute. <laughs> it's, it's just one of my oh, things. I have a flat iron. Oh, this is actually, I think, a fairly expensive I one. I thought you had a lightsaber at first. I was like, <laughs> awesome. This is the Nano Titanium Optima 3000. I think this one's kind of pricey. I can't get to my keyboard. Here, Optima 3000? Here, we have a barcode. Oh, that make it easier. Yes. We'll scan it on Amazon, see what the Amazon platform says. It pulled it up as a Babyless Pro Nano Titanium Prima. Oh, no, that's not what that is. I don't know. It doesn't say Babyless on there anywhere. So it might be a reproduction, you think? It could be a reproduction. It might be a production. But if it's the authentic one, it's $170. I don't know. Optima 3000 Titanium Hair thing? I'll have to do some more like Googling bucks. on that. I'm gonna do the the, uh, the Burger, Burger King, King bag. That's when I pulled it out. That's what I thought it actually was. was okay, well Burger I want to do the record. Ooh, I want to do the record. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a calendar. Oh, it probably is a calendar. <laughs> that stinks. I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh, this was a. Uh, I even look. Nope, it's a record. Oh, what'd you get? I got Agnes. Ob Obol? I've never heard of her. I've never heard of her either. Let's see what her record sells for. Still factory sealed, right? Mm-hmm. It pulled up a sunglasses. So I don't know, maybe 20 well, bucks? Well, this was supposed to be going to someone in Arkansas. Oh, that's the record store. Railways. Railways. It was thirty-three or thirty-one ninety-nine. Oh, this is actually a record store based in the UK. That's a UK import. Actually, it might be kind of expensive. 
That's a UK import record. Yeah, the person paid 36 bucks for it shipped. Yep, it was supposed to go to Eagle River, Eagle River Arkansas. Arkansas. Wow, so this actually came from a UK. There's the receipt. That's the actual UK record store. Oh, here, look, I'll let you talk about that. <laughs> what am I talking about? I look up the record. Oh, okay. Is this what was in the Burger King bag? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the receipt for it, too. Love from... She paid $179 for a flat thing. What? This is from the company Wool Lovers, based out this? of... Yeah, there's like the return. Wow. Oh my goodness. Woolrovers.us. She bought it on January 23rd. Medium. Yeah, it's a luxurious pure cashmere polo neck That's boxy wise. jumper. She paid $179 plus shipping. A lady who lives in Overland Park, Kansas. Wow. This is some expensive stuff. It's because it's cashmere. This is this is the actual like a legit like a legit store. Wow. These are actually pretty good mail so far. <laughs> like, they're actually getting some expensive stuff. Like people, thank you for not getting your mail. Yeah, this is a yeah, this is a UK import. Because most of the sellers are from the UK. So everything is in UK money. Or like was it British pounds? Yeah. So it looks like British pounds, it's like 13 plus shipping, 13 plus shipping. British pounds. There, there, there's like a now these don't have this the thingy on it either. With the sticker, that's the double LP. And the double LP looks like what the sticker goes for 30. 27, 30. That's US 20. right there. Tw oh yeah. Yeah. This is the record store. Let's see. So it's sold out of a US store. For twenty eight dollars plus, plus shipping. shipping. Good record store to go. Sold it for twenty eight plus shipping. So this is a UK import record right there. This is we're getting some good stuff out. Yeah. What do you want to do next? Um, I'm kind of intrigued by this purple one. Here, you do that purple. And I'll, okay. That's too kind of heavy. So far, I've been super impressed with packages. I have too. Like, we're getting actual like good stuff out. Let's see what this like one. Some really if good I can stuff. Get. Oh, this was going to Chicago. Oh. This one was going to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I can't read why. Yeah, they have and there is a there. hair on it. Nice. Is it a nice hair? Like, like stuck in the tape. This is like. Oh goodness! What is that? It's the tote bag. Oh boy. Oh, look at those. Oh boy, we just wow. sold a pair of those, something <laughs> similar to that in the garage sale. Wow. Those are interesting. This is um, a non-authentic <laughs> tote bag. So the, so the company's called Tote Bag? No, it's Marc Jacobs. Ah, uh, so they're just like... So it's, replicas. Yeah, and or, I mean, they're, you even have like a... They're not calling it Marc Jacobs. Though. No, they're just calling it the tote bag, but it looks just like the Marc Jacobs tote bag. It's kind of nice. It's though. a nice leather. It's a nice bag. It probably sells for 20, 30 bucks, I bet. It is a nice bag, but, but it is uh, not authentic. This not. is women's size medium, super nice, fancy jeans, new with tags. Super fancy jeans. It is just to be considered a bag that is a tote. It is a tote of the bag. The tote of the bag. It's a and if, if you guys do see something on here that you are interested in, feel free to reach out to me, the wife 317 at yahoo.com. We might be able to work out a deal. Um, but just know that these are sold on a first confirmed basis yep. um, because I have had a lot of instances here recently where many, many people are interested in the same product and I sell it to the first person who says, I want to buy it. And they pay. And they pay. Yeah, so and we won't hold for like a week while because nope. there's a whole line of people that want to buy it right now. I will hold instant. for a few hours and then I offer it to the, the next, next person, person yeah. because I need to sell stuff we, and we gotta so, turn stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we we can't wait for days and days and nope. days. You no. Know, nope. If you can't pay for it, it's okay. It's okay. Oh it's yours. Oh. That doesn't feel good to me. Here. This also doesn't feel good to me. I am. Um... 
I don't you... understand this. Why do I get the stuff that doesn't feel good to you? The aura doesn't feel good. The aura. So you give me bad aura? No, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Mm -mm. That's no. not nice. Postage due, address burn off. This one was going to Newport. What? Newport, Newport Richie. Newport. I lived in Newport Richie. Newport something. Virginia. I have Anyways. an ATT 30 DB. It's kind of like a electronic component. Oh boy. Apply somebody needs to fix something with. Oh boy, <laughs> that's gonna be a miracle to figure out what that is. Something that somebody needed to fix something. Well, I have a whole plethora of things. Oh gosh. Plethora. Okay, I have beads. Ugh. I thought it felt kind of. I odd. have those beads. I don't know if the camera's picking them up. Mm -mm. And then I have these rainbow pearl beads. And then I have a rainbow pearl this color beads. And then I have this color of beads. Mm -hmm. I don't know if these like go on dresses or what they go on, but then I have those. So yeah. that's what I have. I have no idea what this thing is. I just did a quick search. I don't see anything. These are all this. flat backs. Yes. If that makes any difference to anyone. Big difference. I don't know what they're used for. But... Whenever I do arts and crafts, I prefer flat backs for my beads. Do you? It just comes out better. It just way, works it? better. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. All right. Yep. This one feels good, but I actually will let, let you do it, though. No, that's like, okay. Oh. You're trying to make up for your giving me that aura. <laughs> this actually feels nice. Uh -huh. No, I want you to do that one, darling. Or you're like, no, this only really feels bad, but I'm going to tell no. her it feels nice. It feels like some high-end stuff. It does feels it? very high-end. I can't get this back in the container. This one went to right. New York State. I can't tell the city, but this went to New York, and the bag, or the box says... Lambzoo.com is the website this came from. You heard of Lambzoo.com? No. I can't see where this was going at all. All I can see is GR for the city. That's it. GR. Green Bay. Maybe. I'm gonna say it's going to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Okay. Wouldn't you be so, so funny if it was Green Bay stuff in here? <laughs> Ooh. Wireless. This is a super light wireless mouse. No lag. No delay. Low power. Got a barcode. The brand is called Atlantis. Still factory sealed. What if it's any good? You say still factory sealed, like it's. Yeah. I mean, this is all returned mail. It better be factory sealed. Factory sealed, sealed darling. I have a jacket with hearts on it. Look how cute that is. Super cute. It's like this really soft, fleecy. It is a size XL. It's a good size. And it actually looks like it's a true XL and not just like... Not a fake XL. It, well... It's like a true XL. It's not like a, like a cut small XL. Mm. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I have a pretty pink hearted jacket. So on eBay looking, nothing of this brand Lamzu Atlantis where this mouse is sold. Like it has nice packaging. None sold, but people are asking on eBay, 75 bucks Ooh. a piece. Oh, here's one, 71 at auction right now. It's oh, got, it's got, it's got 71 six bucks. Uh, uh, that was a white one sealed. This one looks like a blue or black. So yeah, the one right now, as we speak, it's 71 dollars, six bids on, actually go ahead, I'll put it into the watch list too for you. You can find it easier that way. It's got one day and 21 hours left, so, $75 maybe for this thing. We're getting some good stuff out of yeah. these. We're getting some good stuff this That'll time. That'll probably go up on eBay here pretty I'm fast. Not, this And the one that they're selling on eBay says it is a 55 gig or a 49 gig. This one's a 55 gig. So this one actually might be better. I don't know. This might be a better one. I don't know. This might be like $75 right there. Hey, I'm, I'm feeling You're, pretty good about this. Be gentle with that this. one, baby. Be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. <laughs> Pretty good stuff this time. Are we gonna do? Uh, I'll let you do that. <laughs> oh, I can't read anything. Columbus, Ohio. Really? It says not s or number seven. I guess that was code for somebody. You got some good stuff this time. Yep. Some good stuff. High dollar stuff, actually, which is which is pretty cool. 
an expensive curler, electronics. What is this? We have a whole thing of, of rings. Did not think this is what was in this bag. I mean, it's a whole bag of jewelry. Size 17, size 18, size 19. It's like a, what, 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 what's that stone called? Well, like it's, an opal? It's not an opal, but. It's pretty though. The camera won't be able to catch it, but. Each bag has three rings in it. That's probably at least a couple bucks per bag. There's like 10, 15 bags in there. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. It says something Russian official warehouse. Russian official warehouse stuff. This is this is what I have. I don't know what it is. Russian something. official warehouse. Okay. I don't know what that is. Anybody know what that is? Anyone? Anyone? Okay. Well, moving on. There's only five things left. So obviously, one box only had seven. What, what's in that? It's like there's five things. Oh, left. gotcha. So this one's kind of like a throwaway thing. It's kind of like junk. It's just kind of like a cheapie. <laughs> the Pop Mart. We'll do this one together. Oh, it's like a mystery box. Is my value to it actually? Not for sale, just for you. They're like little fairies. Yeah, they're like little little like fairies. Like little forest fairies. Huh. Maybe like ten dollars for that. I'm not ever so sure. That's like a little Well, do we want to open it and just keep find it out? Seal. Really? It, just keep it sealed, yeah. Because that that's the mystery factor. Okay. Once you crack it, it hurts the value. Small. Okay. This one cannot tell. It is completely burnt off. It burnt the label. This one was Aurora, Indiana. Wow. This has little screwdrivers in it. Well, this one has... Okay, that's kind of blah. Little screwdrivers. This has little beads in it. No good. For jewelry. No good. No good. Grab your last package, darling. All right, got it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, oh, those, those everything on no mine good. was burnt off. But we had some good stuff. This is Williamston, South Carolina. Very nice. This person has my grandma's name. Not a very common name. Really? Yeah. Not a very common name. No, it's not. I have to cut into this video to let you know, around the next five minutes of this video, I had to edit out of this video. What we received in the next package was an actual illegal controlled substance that you're not allowed to possess legally. So after the wife and I kind of had the shock of what we just opened up in this package, we couldn't believe what we received and panic kind of set in too because of what we had. Um, we actually contacted the local police non-emergency line, let them know, you know, we're YouTubers. We opened up unopened, you know, USPS mail. We do Amazon customer returns, that kind of a thing. I had to explain our, our business let them know that we received a package that had three pounds of a controlled substance in it. It was a lot. And so we actually had an officer come out to our house. They had to collect the, the shipping box, all the information. And, um, they took it back to the police station and they put it into the evidence room. And whenever you find something in like the, if you buy undelivered mail, you can sometimes receive fine stuff and packages that might be illegal to even possess. And if you do get something like that, turn it over to the police. Don't keep it. Don't risk prison time just because you think it's cool that you receive something that you're not supposed to really own because it's illegal. And the officer that we spoke to actually advised us it'd be wise to actually cut this part of the video out because of what the controlled substance was. Cut it out of the video. Don't show it on video. So this is the first time that I can think of I've ever received anything this illegal in either an Amazon custom return pallet, Target pallet, Walmart pallet, or in USPS undelivered mail. And my wife and I have only been doing the USPS undelivered mail now for a couple months. And it took a couple months to find our first illegal controlled substance that you're not allowed to possess at all. <laughs> so... It was shocking. I can't show the video. It's mostly me and the wife just like going to a small panic attack. Like, what do we do? Like, we don't want this stuff in, in our house. <laughs> we don't want to go to prison, you know? So yeah, craziness. 
But if it ever happens to you, do the right thing. Contact your local police department, sheriff's office, whatever you got to do. Turn it over to the police. Get it out of your possession and do the right thing. But yeah, craziness. Hopefully this is a one and done thing of getting something so illegal in the mail. So yeah, we got some pretty cool stuff this time. Yeah. And some shocking stuff this and time. And some shocking stuff. Never thought I'd ever have actual like, so what can you get in USPS lost, unopened, un undelivered mail? You just saw it. <laughs> just saw this. So the question is now like, what do you do with this? Like it's not legal to own this. What do you do with it? I do not know. Like what do you do? Dig a hole. Well, that buried. made me real uncomfortable. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I think this video's about done. I had no idea what I was even I had even had in my hands. When I saw it, that's when I was like, <laughs> shocking foe. We had the ups, we had the downs, we had the drama, we had God. everything. This was like an actual like a Netflix made movie right here. I guess. Craziness, right? Craziness. Craziness. Yep. All right. That's it. We'll see, see you next time. time.